Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel Code Circuit. This is Saurav coming back again with some new tips and tricks. So today in this video, we'll be learning about a lot of Java tips and tricks about Java arrays. Okay, so before starting this video again, I would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos with your friends and family. And also at the same time, if you really like the content brought forward to you, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay, so without any more ado, let's get started. So as I said, today we'll be learning about some tips and tricks in Java arrays. Okay, so let's directly hit back to our ID. So here we are inside our project, the ID, and I will just show you a lot of tips and tricks which will be very handy while you were working as a developer in any company. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you is print an array in a single line. Okay. So suppose I have an array is equal to say one, two, three, four, five. I'm taking some random values. Normally we have to use looping statements to iterate over this, right? But now I can show you a very easy trick that will help you to print this in a single line. So I'll just say S out. There is a special class in Java called the arrays class inside the java.util package. Okay. I will just say arrays dot to string. This actually takes a array as an input and converts it into a string. Okay, so now we can easily print this array in a single line using the two string function or method inside the arrays class. Okay, now let's see the output. Yeah, guys, you can see here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is a very important trick that you can say. It's not a trick, it is a function that many people don't know. So I'm just giving you an idea about that, okay? This was the first thing that I wanted to show you. Now let's go back to the second one, okay? Now I will say that I have to copy array into another array. So let me take another array. One equal to new int of I'm creating a dynamic array by passing the length of the previous array. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to copy the contents of the first array into the second array. Okay. So let me do one thing. I will write this as array one and make it array one and I'll make this array two and this will become array two as well. Sorry, array one as well. Okay. Now I will show you one more thing. As I said, how to copy the content of array one into the array two. So in the system class, we have a very good feature called array copy. Here it takes the source that is our ARR one. Okay. Then it takes the source index, the starting index. So I will take zero. You can take anything. I'm taking zero and then it takes the destination, which is our array two. Then it takes the starting index of the destination where we want to store it. Okay, and then it takes the entire length. So I can just say ARR one dot length. Okay, now we have actually copied the contents of this array into the second array. Okay, now let's see if this is working or not. I will just say S out. I will again use the arrays class dot to string. I will print my second array this time. Now this should also be one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's run this and check. Yeah, guys, you can see we have successfully done this. Okay, now suppose you want to find the index of a particular element. For that also, you can use a very good function called binary search, which is also there in the arrays class. I will say int index is equal to, I will call the arrays dot binary search function. Here it takes two arguments. First is the array, I will take ARR1. And then I will take the number for which you want to take the index. Okay. So for example, let me add some more values here. I will say 23. Then I will say 55. Okay. I'm just doing this so that I can have random numbers here. Okay. Now I want to find the index of 23. Okay. This is the key. So it takes the array and the key. Okay. Now, according to our code, one, two, three, four, five, six, 23 is the sixth element, so it will be index 5. Now, let me just print the index variable so that we can verify this. The output should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 
let's run this now and check yeah guys you can see here right this is a very handy function which can really help you a lot in competitive coding many interview questions and so on now suppose i have one more array let me take a different array now say arr3 is equal to say 0 2 1 3 5 4 okay now say suppose i want to sort this array in ascending order so again in the arrays class we have a very special feature called sort function if you want to sort anything without any algos you can just use that okay i will just say arrays dot sort i will pass my arr3 okay after that if i print the array now using the same arrays class initially you can see it is not sorted okay let me do it before and after okay let me copy this paste this here so this will be before this will be after let me run this now see it was initially 0 2 1 3 5 4 then it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this is how you can sort an array using the sort method okay got it if you want any more tips i can give you some more but i'm not going to make this more lengthy so what i will do i will show you one more trick suppose i have a car array say let us is equal to i am taking my name say s a u r a and v okay now i want to convert it into a string so what i will do i will say string name is equal to i will create the object of the string class so i will use new string inside the constructor i will pass the letters array okay now if i say name this should be saurabh my complete name let's see yeah guys you can see here we got this got it so this is a very important and interesting tips and tricks i hope you have understood those okay so we have learned how to print an array in a single line we have learned how to copy array into another array then we have seen how to find the index using the binary search method also we have seen how to convert a character array into a string in one single line okay guys these are just some of the tricks that i want to share with you right now if you want any more tricks like this you can ping us in the comment section we'll be creating one more video like this okay any topic any concept that you want lots of tips and tricks you can ping us in the comment section we'll be very happy and coding is fun guys try to learn more and more try to devote more time dedicate more time and make it fun for you because it is going to be fruitful and you will be getting lots of knowledge about this okay so if you really like this content please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon and thank you for watching and supporting thanks a lot guys till the next video this is sort of signing off bye bye and happy learning